Hey you guys, good morning. Um, I'm going to talk about something that is factual and um, it's something that isn't really talked about in the whole uh, school shooting thing, but I can't get this off my head, so I'm going to talk about it a little bit. Okay, so there is a compulsory, compulsory government school system. A forced, it's a forced school system that most every, every kid, every friend I've ever had could not stand school. So there's, there's some people out there that go like, oh, I love school. I love getting up early and being forced to learn, you know, learn history and learn you know, all these, and be told what to do. I loved it. No. Nobody, nobody loved it. So we're getting into some facts here. Okay? School is not fun. You know? The, the point when you're able to choose what you want to learn, like in college, is, is alright, because you don't have to go. You know? You can go and learn what you want to learn. When you're forced, um, there's there's a lot of there's a lot of inner anger, a lot of inner animosity, um, you know, just all of that. And then when there's a possibility now, you like you you might get shot, and now. You know, the answer is, oh, let's make, you know, the four schools, junior high, high school, maybe even elementary, everything from metal detectors to uh, teachers with guns to one entry, you know, I mean, all these things to just make it even more like a prison. So, why? You know, I mean, at, at this point, it's failing. The the forced school system is failing, um, and I hope it completely fails because I I think that homeschooling. I think kids should be able to study what they what they want because no matter what, even if they're forced to learn, you know, basically after you learn how to read and write and basic math, everything else just you know you're forced to learn it and you, a lot of it you just forget. You don't, I mean, you know, you graduate from high school and somebody tries to <laughs> ask you questions about what you just learned in the last 12 years. It's pretty, pretty difficult to land on any certain thing because you're forced to do it. So you're only, you're only doing it because you have to. So you're not going to re retain the knowledge the same as if you would want to learn it. Now, again, there's, there's things, there's times in school like my drama classes were amazing, you know. In junior high, I still know some of the most amazing actors, you know, to this day. They're like am absolutely incredible actors, you know, and they're incredible people, musicians. But, yeah, so my drama class was very memorable. My art class, um, other than that, you guys, I have to be honest, it, you know, my art teacher, my drama teacher... Those classes were my most memorable, you know. And I, I think a lot of the time, kids, you know, I mean, the, the thing the, what's going to be memorable is is where you're a able to be create, you know, creative. So I can see where this is going. Um, it may be a while, but the tr the tradition um, of like you know the school system. It's like it hasn't changed in 200 years, in, in a sense, where you go to the school building and you sit, you know, in these classes in front of a teacher, and the teacher tells you about the Civil War, and tells you about da-da-da-da, and then teaches you math, and, you know, all this. That's been going on for years and years and years and years. And now, in the palm of every kid's hand is unfathomable knowledge. I mean, there's, you know, a lot of time, a lot of it's not true, 
you know so kids have to be wise and to figure out what's what's true you know and that's one big problem we're seeing right people think they hear something that's true and they run with it and then it just spirals out of control I mean it's just so there's more there's more proof now based on all the video and all the knowledge um, you know all the websites and photos you know but that can also be taken the opposite way so you know I don't I don't really exactly know where this is going but I really I really feel that if I was in this I, I just wouldn't go to school anymore I, I'd be like I'm not I'm not gonna go to your little prison you know and now like Oh, teachers have guns and like telling me, you know, I'm I'm forced to do schoolwork every day to, you know, to be groomed for the military too. R O R O T C is no joke, you know. My little brother was an R O T C. Then he he joined, uh, he joined the Navy and didn't even make it through boot camp. People were so freaking mean, you know. Talk about control freaks, you know. I mean, it's, it's, um, it's a brutal system, you know, and I'm, I'm happy to, to see, to see kids go, you know, we're, we're, we're tired, we're tired, we're, we're done, you know, and I think it's very, very truthful and honest, and anybody that doesn't think so, it, again, man, how, how, how old are you, and do you, you know, did you grow up in the time where I grew up, where I went to school, there wasn't school shootings, you know? I hated school. I went. I got good I got good grades actually, three point five. Um graduated, all of that. Never liked school. I met friends, okay? That was the only good thing about it, the social part of it. So you know, we just have to be have to be truthful with this, man. You guys all, I don't know, I don't know how old you guys are, you know, but if you go back, at least at least the the subscribers that are from the United States, I mean, they're I don't know how you learn in some other countries. It may be way cooler, you know, or maybe not, you know, maybe worse. Um, but, you know, if you if you look at your early education life, you know, like junior high and high school, it's brutal. And then, then you have, you know, you you get bullied, you get picked on. You know, I was one of the only punk rock kids. I had to change schools in seventh grade because, I mean, I got threatened. I got my money stolen from me. I got, you know, swatted from teachers for, like, just showing up to class, you know, four minutes late, um, you know, forced to, like, stand up for an hour because you're three minutes late or something, and it's just, like, it's this, this control, kids have had it, you guys, it's obvious, you know, I don't, I, I think they should all stop going, you know, there's, like, these big brick daycares now, you know, it's what they are, schools are, I have a friend that's a teacher, and, uh, Literally, like like recently, what what he's told me is is unbelievable. It's nothing like when we w went to school. You know, kids are they just had it. You know, they're 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 so frustrated and they they just don't they don't care. They can't stand school, you guys. So there's nothing good about really just about nothing good about forced education. Um, for junior high and high school, you should just be able to. You should you should have to do have to have an education, but somehow worked through a less controlling environment. So I'll leave it at that.